Well, George Dobson, I can't believe it's been a month since we last spoke. That was before the Plymouth game, and we've picked up 14 points since then. It's been a tremendous achievement. Yeah, no, it has. Um, should, should have been more, really, if you uh, if you look at the games that weekend where we didn't pick up any points, Plymouth and Fleetwood, and we were the better team in both games. Uh, but now, since then, obviously, the, the four wins on the bounce were massive. Um, really, really, obviously, in the situation we was in. But I think I think it was coming. If you look at the way we were playing and the performances we had, we just we we, we was just lacking in the final third, scoring goals. But since since it's all clicked together, we're obviously in the last was it six of the last seven games. We must have scored a lot of goals. So um, now it's been good. It's been a great run. But obviously, the job's not done yet. Um, and yeah, we've got to, we've got to go. Um, to the game on Saturday against Portsmouth and make sure we finish it off. Yes, you say, I mean, even with the two defeats around Easter and now the two draws as well, it, it could have been even more points. We could have been outside by now, really, couldn't we, with the spirit we've shown? Yeah, definitely. You, you, look, you look at the Ipswich game, the first half against Ipswich, we could have could have been 3 or 4 nil up. Um, and then that game should have been put to bed. And then, obviously, Tuesday. Tuesday was a funny one because we, we played some really good stuff at times, but obviously the... Conceding from the three set pieces just isn't good enough um, from everyone, uh, including me. So, um, that, yeah, that's just something we've we've now worked got to work back on because we had become really um, strong at set pieces. So we've got to work back on that to make sure that that don't happen again. Um, so into Saturday we are we're in a good position to to pick up three points. And as you said, you've been through this kind of experiences before with Walsall. I mean, I suppose you're going to get these results in the road to trying to get where we're going to get to, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, as well, we've, yeah, I think Robbo's probably said it before, the most important thing is the performances. If your performances are consistently there, the results will follow, um, and as they have. Um, so, now we've obviously got two tough games to finish, um, but... The, the way we've been playing, we, we, we shouldn't be fearing playing against anyone. So um, it's one we're really looking forward to. It'll be a good game against Portsmouth and hopefully we can uh, secure our um, survival at the weekend and then and then look to 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 build on from that because obviously as, as, as a whole club that um, it shouldn't be in the situation it's in. It shouldn't be near the bottom. It should be looking further up. So hopefully this can be the turning point after securing safety that um, the club's looking a lot further up the table from now on. How else do we go about trying to get that form that we showed to get those four wins ahead of Saturday? Um, well, I think I think not a lot's got to change. Like you look at the Ipswich game, that was probably one of our best performances out even before the uh, four and uh, four in a row before that. So that was just fine margins where we didn't quite take our chances. Um, and then as I said, the set pieces let us down on on Tuesday, but we still scored three goals. Obviously, Pigs missed the penalty and we, we had numerous other chances, so um, we're, there's not a lot to change. Um, I think the performance levels have been really good, it's just, it's just as I've said, the set pieces let us, let us down the other day. So basically trust in the methods and the goals will come, yeah? Yeah, well they have. You, you look, we obviously scored three against Rochdale, um, the five against Aki. Oxford we scored a couple like that. in them games. I, I don't know how many goals it is, but in in the last seven games we must have scored sixteen, seventeen goals. Like um, so, now I think I think with especially when Ollie's been playing, he's just he's taken a bit of pressure off, off Pigs as well to um, be able to to play his normal game. And it's helped him um, put his performance out there and. Add, as a whole, the the whole attacking four have looked looked a real threat and really looked like scoring. We said it before as well. I mean, you're not known as a goal scorer, but has Robbo been encouraging you to, to kind of shoot from distance, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had a couple of shots. No, a couple, well, one or two, not too bad, but one or two, uh, <laughs> not the best. But um, now, nah, obviously, foremost for me, my job is to obviously help the defence and help help protect the back four and get and get us playing um, on the ball. But no, nah, if, I, if I could add a add a goal before the end of the season to 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 help with to help with us stand in the league, no, nah, that'd be uh, that'd be critical. But it can start from the back as well. So I mean, you, you've also been involved in some of the build up play for the goals as well. Haven't you, at times. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's obviously. Um, I think that's been a massive boost of the way we've been playing because. Um, 
we've been doing a bit of everything. We haven't been totally football based. We've been able to mix it up and go a little bit more direct into Oli if needs be, and then play from there. We've we've had a little bit of uh, a bit of everything, a bit of element of surprise. So. Um, with having different things up your sleeve, it obviously makes it harder for other teams to play against you, um, and I think that's why I think that's why our performances have been so good and why we've been scoring so many goals. You are, of course, a Sunderland player, but being here as well, how much have you got this club now? Even though the absence of, of the fans are not at this stage. No, definitely. I've 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 actually loved loved being here. I've really enjoyed um, my spell so far. Um, it's it's a great football club. Um, the, the 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 stadium's honestly really really good um, and and the the fans even though I haven't met them you can just tell by the way the clubs run by the fans and owned by the fans it's it, it's just like one big community really so it's nice no, honestly a special place to play football and um, I, as I've said I've I've really enjoyed it there has been a great appreciation for you online. Um, is it something you'd be open to extending the Wimbledon stay? Yeah, it obviously, it uh, all depends on what what happens with Sunderland in the in the summer. I don't know what's going to happen with them, and um, yeah, it's definitely something I'd be open to because of like with with any footballer, you when you're playing and you're playing well and enjoying it, that's that's there's nothing better. So no, I've honestly loved my time here. So yeah, just have to see what happens, I guess. But right now, the focus for George Dodds is very much on Portsmouth on Saturday. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's um, just yeah these next two games to, to, to get the job done for obviously the whole club to, to be in League One next season to then be able to build and, and kick on is massive. So, no, I just obviously I've been trying my best to help um, with that and I'll continue to do that for the last two games. Dobbo, best of luck. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you.